when you get a SAMI ad, one of the main questions that you might have is how in the world do I train this puppy to go potty outside? Well, on today's episode of Yeti's Place, we're going to answer that question up next on Yeti's Place. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe Click that bell notification so you'll be notified of any new releases. Comment on our video and check out the links down below. When you bring a new Samiad puppy home, the main question is how in the world do I get this little puppy potty trained? With Yeti, it took him until he was six months old before he finally understood to go potty outside. With any puppy, especially a Samiad, for potty training them, what you have to do, the moment they stop playing, bring them outside right away. And then when they go potty, you congratulate them, you pet them, you say, yay, good boy, good boy, good boy. And you give them a treat so that they understand that that's where they're supposed to go potty. Now, if they happen to have an accident in your house, only discipline them if you catch them in the act. If you don't catch them in the act and notice the accident later on, and then you go and discipline them, they'll be sitting there like, well, mom, why are you mad at me? What did I do? I don't understand what I did. Because they're, they're not going to remember what they did incorrectly. And by discipline, I mean just t like growling at them because they understand what growling means and say, no, if they're little enough to pick up and bring outside, do that, put them down on the ground, wait for them to go potty outside, and then say, good boy, good boy, good boy, or good girl if it's a girl, and you lavish them with praise. And then when you bring them inside, be sure to give them a treat. Some days, it's easy to train a Samiad. Other days, not so easy to potty train. You have to be observant. You have to notice the moment they stop playing is when they go potty. Now, of course, I'm talking about little puppy Samiads like the brand new fresh puppies that are eight weeks old to about six months old. Those brand new cute little fuzzy white angels. The moment they stop playing, you have to bring them outside immediately. They have little teeny tiny bladders when they're little babies and they can't hold their meals nor can they hold water as long as they can when they're adults. And they also don't understand they have to go potty outside. So it's up to the people to train them to go potty outside. Be patient with your Samiad because there will be a lot of accidents that they'll have. Feed them at specific times of the day, and then the moment they finish eating, the moment they walk away from their food, bring them outside right away, and then put their food up until the next time you feed them. In the evenings, you wanna take the water away. Bring them outside before putting them in their crate for the night, because you'll wanna crate train a puppy Samiad, because if you don't crate train a puppy Samiad, they'll have accidents, and they could also get bored, and they could eat things they're not supposed to eat. So crate training a Samiad is a wonderful idea. The reason you should crate train your Samiad overnight is because they won't go potty where they sleep. And then immediately upon waking up in the morning, bring your Samiad outside immediately. Once you bring them inside after they've done their jobs outside, you'll lavish them with praise the moment they, they do their job, and then you'll bring them inside your house and then you'll feed them and give them water. Same thing if you're gone during the day. They should go in their crate. Yes, I'm talking about your crate, sweetie. You remember being crate trained. We crate trained Yeti when he was little and it helped him out so much. Yeti had plenty of accidents, even though I was observant and I watched to see when he would stop playing and when he'd stop eating. He was really quick with going potty, like the second. <laughs> He stopped playing. He would start squatting and, and go potty. And you know, I, I tried really hard to get him outside, but sometimes I failed and I didn't get him outside right away and then he had an accident. Yet he did eventually learn, oh yeah, hey, I should go potty outside. You only discipline your Samiad or any dog if you catch them in the act of going potty. Growl at them. <laughs> Because they'll listen to a growl when they're a little guy. When they get bigger, then you can say no in a mean voice like, no. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like that when I say no, do you? Then immediately after you catch them in the act, bring them outside right away. When they go potty where they're supposed to go potty, you lavish them with all types of praise, telling them, good boy, good boy, good boy, and you give them treats and you're happy and thrilled for them. They'll eventually learn. It just takes the Samiad a little while to, to learn to go potty in the right place, but if you're vigilant, you pay attention to them and notice exactly the second they stop playing, you bring them outside right away, they'll learn pretty quickly. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, click our bell notification. Welcome back to all of our Yettables. 
and check out our links down below. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.